What's going on everybody? It's Chip and Fiddy. We are in the basement of Thomas Liquors celebrating what might be the most epic beer holiday that exists. We are talking Black Friday. That's right. And Everyone's favorite bl black beer. Goose Island Bourbon County Stout. We're celebrating 30 years of producing this beautiful barrel aged beer that got a whole whole wave <laughs> of barrel aged starting. And this year, they're going kind of like over the top a little bit. There's not just variants, there's vintage packaging, there's what we're sipping on, this 30th anniversary version. Tell me a little bit about Bourbon County, uh, kind of both from a retailer, but just also from a brewery perspective. Sure, I mean, it's a cool, it, it, at this point now, we kind of take for granted barrel aged beers. It's like it's been around for seemingly so long, but really, this is the one that got it started about, it was not about 30 years ago, it was 1992, uh, 30 years ago. Um, Hall, I forget his first name, but uh, the brewmaster at Goose Island collaborated with a um, guy from Jim Beam, and Jim Beam Distillery had their barrels, and he had this crazy idea and at the time because it was really unprecedented. Ah, let's make an amazing imperial stout. And, uh, and put them in bourbon barrels and to impart this complexity. And it really, at the time, was uh, it, it kind of a, a mad genius putting this together. Because <laughs> who would think? And like Satan Chip now, yeah. well, we kind of take it for granted. You get these, all the time. I, I, I wouldn't say that there's many brewers that do one of these as a year-round, but they are mm -hmm. definitely not the stand-in-line, event-driven whales that they were even five, definitely ten years ago. Correct. I cannot believe 92. Yeah. Just to place both of us, I don't want to put you on the spot. Huh. I was starting high school in 1992. I graduated high school in 1992. That's, uh, did, uh, didn't that's really awesome. know what Bourbon County was back then. That's absurd. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, super cool. But yes, got it started. And yeah, to get it to market. I mean, I started here in 1998. And early in my tenure, Bourbon County kind of became a thing. I'm not sure when it was making its way out of Chicago. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, it's, it's been a long time. I want to say it's, 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 it's been a long time, obviously. But there was one, you know, in the marketplace, they didn't know what the hell it was. It was this cool experimental thing. I even, but I mean, it's like, is it good? Is it expensive AF? You know what that stands for. Yeah. yeah and okay. an Imperial Stout alone was probably uh, kind of a risk at that point. Yeah. Now you're talking uh, an Imperial Stout that tastes like spirits. Yeah. Yeah. To impart this crazy stuff, so so really hats off to I, I just love that they really blazed a trail for this uh, just exciting and such a cool unique style of beer that just has has taken off and it was kind of well you know taken off and, and kind of come down in popularity and I'll I'll speak to yeah when it was as far as the sales part goes and, and, and the retail side um, it, it it it's really gone up and down it was first it was like no one really knew what the heck it was. Um, but go ahead, Pete. Because <laughs> um, this is this is the real deal the stuff of Thomas Liquor. Oh right, we're, the stuff's always going on. We're in no the working where we are. zone out here. <laughs> um, so you saw an increase in popularity, and at first it was these four packs when it was coming out, sitting on the shelves, and for what seemed then as an exorbitant price, and. It was kind of a risk for the brewery, and then it's like, God, it's, it's, I don't know, it's cool stuff, but no one's really buying it. And a lot of people tell you stories of, God, I remember Bourbon County just sitting on the shelves, and now you can't get it, and now you can again, but much, much more limited than when it started, and no one really cared. And that was like so many of the, of the uh, bourbon beer, or the barrel beers that followed. KBS is a really good example. Same sort of deal uh, in that. Start on the shelves, just sitting on the shelves. It was super expensive because this is expensive beer to make, as mm -hmm. you well know. And then this popularity just catches on fire, and all of a sudden people are chasing trucks, uh, <laughs> trading for it, doing whatever they can to get these barrel aged beers. That's like, oh, and then it was this nostalgic, nostalgic thing where it's like, oh, I remember that was just sitting on the shelves collecting dust. And then it became so scarce and so hard to get these beers. And that has certainly peaked, as I think you all know, as far as the chasing beers and things like that. But Bourbon County, I would say, is definitely the one exception. That's the one beer that people still follow, still chase, and look forward to Black Friday. And they still line up in mornings 
<clears throat> on Black Friday for the release for not only the Bourbon County but also the variants especially. I was gonna I was gonna ask what role does a variant have in a a brand like that? In maybe creates a buzz, literally, back, literally uh, figuratively like, right, a spike, yep. right? Yeah. For sure, for sure. So that you have the regular Bourbon County, which is the original re- kind of recipe of sorts that they've had for thirty years. Right. But then they've really over the years had a lot of fun. <laughs> I think it started in like 2009, and, and it's endless right. what they've done. They've had coffee for there's years. There's a coffee, there's a biscotti, mm-hmm. there's like basically so, kind of like a lime zest, dried fruit, honey. Yep. This one this sounds like it would taste like a chocolate cookie. Yep, they have they call the Sir Isaac Newton. It's a bit like a fig Ooh. Newton. Oh. Figs, graham crackers, stuff. I mean, over the years, the brambles, <laughs> the, 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 the brambles. between... Um, Coconuts and every flavor and spice and you can kind of think of, but also berries yeah. and they they've put together they've used damn near everything there is to throw into beer. But yeah. they take the base and they have great results for the most part. And it's those rare ones where they they throw in whatever the interesting things are. Uh, vanilla, oh my god, vanilla! Their vanilla was one of my favorite beers I've ever had. Um, and why not? You know, it's been very successful, and it really creates a buzz. It keeps the beer relevant, um, and then each year, you know, you have all these different variants, which are almost always fantastic. And the 30th anniversary, so they've kind of brought together some epic Jim Beam brands, right? Mm-hmm. We got Knob Creek, we got Basil Hayden, Bakers and Bookers, boom. And all four of those are Jim Beam brands out of the Jim Beam Distillery. Uh, which is where it all began with the Jim Beam Distillery, and they have all these brands which have their own barrels. So this particular iteration of the 30th anniversary beer is Bourbon County aged in barrels from these four brands from from the Jim Beam Distillery, and then those are blended together and that to make uh, something fun and awesome. I just keep on drink it. So when you smell and taste this, do you have? memories of these times before whether getting it a little in advance and cracking a bottle secretly in the basement or just tasting it out or going to a place like a bottle share where people are breaking out do you know here's, this here's, flavor? here's a confession yes i've uh, <laughs> uh because i've been in the lucky spot as a retailer getting it in my hands uh before the release date i have never sold it before the release date because we're not going to mess with that I'm not going to mess with the good thing of what the, uh, mm-hmm. the rules about the release date. Right. Um, but yes, I've tasted it before, and it's it's fun. And yeah, you know what to expect. And also, well, for the most part, you know what to expect. Like, How's it tasting this year? And then once again, go back to the variants. It's like, oh, well, what's the coffees like this year? And yeah. it's, it's mostly has to do with my lack of restraint. <laughs> and I get it in my hands, like, oh, my God, I just got to drink this right now. It's, but I don't tell it. So it's all within the rules. And I, I do it in the dark corner so no one sees. And so is there anything else you learned today from the brewery rest that might uh, impress people, blow some minds? You know, um, <laughs> the coolest thing is he did bring by, and this is just the coolest, this yeah. is a, a viewfinder, no, Viewmaster. Viewmaster, Viewmaster view from the 1970s. Let's see, anyone born before 1990 will have no idea what this is. <laughs> I remember them. They used to be red. Or anyone born after 1990, They're Black rather. Friday black, but oh, they used to be red. So and cool. It, so I got this. This is it's amazing. It's full of these great images of them, like, blending. Right. Pulling the barrels samples and, yeah. from the barrels. Oh, it's, it's super just, cool. It's a great, like, nostalgia piece, just, for sure. So if anyone comes to the shop, whether you come Black Friday to buy your Bourbon County or any other time, I'm going to keep this on hand, and this is for anyone to view. We, we will uh, disinfect, you know, after each use. We're going to so also keep it, will be it sterile. chained to the counter. The, yeah, right, because I don't want anyone taking off with that. So Fiddy can take it home at the end of the night. So, yeah, I don't know much about, I had no idea, like, what the vibe was like in 92. I can't imagine it was yeah. very aware. But now mm-hmm. we're talking uber beer nerds kind of come up. Now it's a little more available. I feel like a lot of these Imperial Stouts do a similar thing. Mm-hmm. More supply to meet demand. Less yep. of the drama. Less, yeah, exactly. But exactly. people are still going to show up. I mean, you don't have much. Even as like a reputable yep. Yep. retailer, you've got Well, X I thank you for that case. generous compliment oh. because I wouldn't say I'm reputable. <laughs> X amount of cases of the regular, regular, which is amazing. Right. The vintage, less of that. So, yeah. Um, 
do you feel lucky to even be on the nice list still? I it, that's very true. Yeah, honestly, is it uh, easy and, to get kicked off the list? And I, <laughs> <laughs> well, and that goes back to if you mess with. You know, it's something because the retailers you get it because you're not going to get a delivery truck Friday morning. Ever the whole world's going to get a delivery truck right. Friday morning, yeah. so you kind of have to, for logistical purposes, get this in advance. Yeah. And any retailer that's going to sell any before then um, is foolish because these are the rules that Bourbon or that the Goose Island Brewery sets, and they'll remember that for next year. They don't have to sell you any. <laughs> and you don't want to mess with that. And, and, and if you're getting an allocation, you you do play by their rules. It's not like Santa Stout rolls out in a sled the Thursday That's on right. Thanksgiving it's... night full of turkey. I... <laughs> Just be like, here's your fucking bourbon and county. You wake up <laughs> drunk and Santa passing out the bourbon county. <laughs> Well, man, I appreciate you breaking this out. I appreciate the little sneak preview as we mm -hmm. head into Black Friday. Right. Now it's Black Friday. Here we are. Get out there. Thomas Liquors is among the many places you can find it. I can't guarantee it'll be here. I want to say right. call, but it might be too busy to call. It you might be, just it might need be too to like... busy to call. Come take a shot. I, I, I'll have, I have some, I'll have some for you. Whoever you are, come see me. I'll take care of you. <laughs> And that, that might be a check. How that, yeah. that might be a weirdly written check. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. Well, cheers. Yes, Chip. Yeah. Thanks for. Always a pleasure. Happy Bourbon County Day and happy holidays. Come on, lads.